What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be making a video on currently one of my favorite anime slash mangas that has come out recently, which is Jujutsu Kaisen. Before we get in the video, guys, just don't um, spoil anything that has happened in the manga yet in the comments. I have seen up to the Kyoto Goodwill event arc, but don't spoil anything, because I'm guessing a lot of anime onlys might be seeing this video, and I don't want to ruin this great series for them, because, man, Jujutsu Kaisen is really great. So first off, before I actually get into the video, you might be wondering, what is Jujutsu Kaisen exactly? So Jujutsu Kaisen is, um, about... It's, it's a lot different from any other shonen anime I've ever seen, but it's about oh, curses and um, people trying to hunt down curses. And the whole story focuses around a kid named Yuji Itadori. So um, Yuji Itadori is um, a high schooler, and he stumbles upon a guy named Fushiguro. And um, they kind of talk for a bit, but then that exchange is over. And later, his grandfather dies, sadly. And his grandfather gives him one last message before he goes, which is, help people so you don't have to be in the position I am. This really hits Itadori hard, and later he finds out that his friends might have unleashed a curse in a building by Fushiguro, and now they both have to go take it down. So this thing to save people and to save everything he can, that quote really, really hits Itadori hard. And now his whole goal is he wants people to die a natural death of natural causes so he can make everyone have the best life and longest life they can. And that definitely hits him hard. Fushigoto stand tells him to stay at the exit while he goes and fights. But Itadori ends up going in because he wants to save his friends and he wants people to live the longest life they can. After this, we are then introduced to one of my favorite parts of this series, which is just the powers they have. It really reminds me of JoJo's, in a way, how just how weird the powers are. Like, we're introduced to Fushigoto's power, and his power is literally creating animal-type things out of cursed energy, which is what, um, Jujutsu Sorcerers use. And cursed energy is one of the coolest power systems I've seen in a long time. It's a lot like stands, but in terms of the strangeness of it, but I think it's a really interesting power. After this, um, Fushiguro is attacked by a curse, and Itadori has to try to fight the curse, but Fushiguro tells him that only a curse can exercise other curses. If you have cursed energy, you can exercise it. You need some sort of cursed energy. So Yuji Itadori takes the cursed object that caused this and literally eats the finger of a curse. This leads into also one of the most interesting points of the series, which is the fact that that Itadoni has a being that is a curse that is insanely evil <laughs> inside of him, and it's just so different from any other shonen I've seen in so long. That's actually a pretty big part of Jujutsu Kaisen. It's just, it's so different from any other shonen I've seen in a long time. After he eats the cursed object, Yuji Itadori has the one in a million percent chance that he is actually able to survive with Sukuna in him, and he's actually able to conquer him. And after that, we meet one of my favorite characters in the series who tries to fight him, Satoru Gojo. Satoru Gojo ends up taking down Sukuna and bringing Itadori back, and after that, Itadori is brought to a place called Jujutsu High School. Jujutsu High School is where Jujutsu sorcerers go, and a lot of them go there to learn Jujutsu and Cursed Energy. And I honestly think that this is easily just an amazing series. But after he does go to um, Jujutsu High, he finds out his friends are safe. And he is cast with the whole point of the series. Which is, is so different from any other shonen ever. Yuji Itadori is giving the choice of if he wants to be executed now to eliminate him because he's now a curse. Or he can choose to go and collect all the parts of Sukuna, all the fingers, and eat them all. So then he can be executed then, and then Sukuna will be gone. I think that this whole plot point is easily what makes Jujutsu Kaisen so different from any other shown in a long time. That alongside the powers. I do think this series has just so much potential. I think it is heavily underrated. 
and you definitely need to check it out. At least watch the anime. There are only two episodes, and I assure you it will be worth all the 40 minutes that you are watching it. And now that we're done kind of talking about what has happened in the anime so far, let me get into just what I think of the series. I think Jujutsu Kaisen is different from the Shonen formula, and it changes it in so many ways, and I just think it is a very, very good all-around series. Again, I'm only on the Kyoto Goodwill event arc, because I've actually been in this series uh, since uh, around July, July or August is when I started reading the manga. But I'm only reading it in volume, so I'm currently at the beginning of volume 6, because I just read better volume, I don't like reading digitally. But yeah, um, definitely I recommend you check it out, at least check out the anime, if not the manga. There are so many great arcs I cannot wait to see animated, big stick out being the Mahito arc. That is my favorite arc in the whole series at the moment, and the Goodwill event I heard is very, very good, and I cannot wait to see it. But I'm not going to get into spoilers, because I do not want to ruin the series for anyone else. So all in all, manga considered, and the anime also has great o animation, and don't even get me started on the opening. But all in all, I would give Jujutsu Kaisen an easy 9 out of 10. It's It rivals JoJo, in my opinion, honestly. But there's one last thing I do want to talk about before I finish this video off, which is the opening. Dear God, is the opening so good. It is, the the visual, it it, it looks so good, especially after seeing what, what happens. It just, it really, really is interesting. And the song, don't even get me started. Eve, I, Evie or Eve, I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name. But that artist is, so, oh my God, they, they threw... They shot it out of the park on this opening. It is so good. And definitely check the anime out at least. It's only 48 minutes if you want to watch it all in one go. Two episodes. You, It's not wasting your time. There's so much greatness that is going to be coming from this anime. The anime I think is going to be better than the manga. Because I think the series could be so good animated. But yeah, definitely check it out. Anyways, that's where I'm going to be wrapping today's video off. I'm sorry I haven't been doing as much JoJo content, but there is a new JoJo Land chapter coming out this weekend, and I will definitely be doing a review right around when that thing comes out. Probably a few hours after that com the chapter comes out, I will be posting a review. Also, I do want to do some arc reviews of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm going to be doing a lot more Jujutsu Kaisen and One Piece videos recently and, and soon. Sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.